Today is January the 1st, 2021. 2020 is finally officially over and we can get started on a brand new year. I have a lot of ideas for the channel that I'm really excited to implement. I'm going to be cranking out a lot more videos than I did last year. So keep your eyes open for that. I hope that everybody had a very safe night last night. Made it back home safely if you went out. But anyway, let's get on into the craft. So to kick off the new year, I wanted to make something really bright and blingy. And, you know, I don't want to say over the top because this isn't really like over the top. But, you know, just something sparkly like my jewelry here. If you like this jewelry, I do sell this jewelry. Um, I will have the link in the description box below to my paparazzi website. Five dollar, five dollar. Anyway. All of this bling here, these are gemstone design stickers from Dollar Tree. They are the Crafters Square brand. And one of the cashiers in my store was telling me that they're going to have a lot more designs coming out this year. So I'm, I'm pretty happy to see what all they come out with because these are really nice. I've used them in previous videos. So we have a few packs of those. I have a glass vase also from Dollar Tree. I have a roll of this pearl wrap from Dollar Tree. It is gold. Because see some some of these little stones here are gold and then I have some of the vase filler these blue glass gems we have a lot of blue here I was hoping to find some pink ones but blue will have to do and then I got a handful of pink artificial flowers in a bag over here I also have two candle holders from Dollar Tree and my hot glue gun so first off and this is gonna be really simple <laughs> But I still wanted to make the video. First off, what we're going to do is you want to clean the outside of this with some rubbing alcohol, okay? Now, this is a big bottle. I just keep filling it up when I get a hold of smaller bottles. But this spray bottle uh, top here just came off of a regular spray bottle. And I found that these lids fit, you know, a lot different kinds of bottles. A lot different, a lot of different kinds of bottles. I'm happy about 2020 being over. I can't even speak. So anyway, I just... Put it on this bottle here and I spray it down and wipe it down with some paper towels. The first what I'm going to do is take this diamond wrap here and I'm going to be gluing a strip up here and down here. And you know what? I did have a little towel. Here's my little towel. My little dirty crafting towel here. You know what? Let's just lay this down. There we go. And I know the light might be glaring, but this is the towel is going to stop the uh, vase from rolling around and making racket on the table. But I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to glue a strip up top and a strip here at the bottom. Now I'm going to be tacking this down with my hot glue. Now if you're afraid of cats, dogs, or feral children getting a hold of this and destroying it, you might want to back it up with a few little drops here and there of some E6000 just to hold it in place. But I am going to, I was going to say, I'm going to really hope that my glue is hot enough. Can y'all see this? Let's just glue this down right here. Okay. Uh, let me see. Do I have a piece of paper or something? I just want to wipe just a little bit of that excess glue right there. There we are. Let's let that set up. Let's try to roll this around here. And I think I'll cut right there. Just gonna kind of hold that in place. Trim, there we are. Okay. And as you can see, this face is, is very straight. If you get one that's curved, then this and your stickers, they aren't gonna lie perfectly flat and it could give you some problems. So I try to get vases that are just straight up the side I know my hot glue stick here isn't quite as hot as it needs to be okay now we're just gonna let that cool and I'm gonna do the same thing up here and then I'm gonna put the butterflies in the center so let me do that and I shall return alrighty so I have all of these stickers put on I'm pretty happy with the placement um, yeah, pretty happy with the placement of where they are. 
Now everybody's texting. There's Michelle from A Noble Touch and Meg from <laughs> Meg Campbell Designs. I love my peoples. I love when they text. We text back and forth all day. It's fun. Um, now we're going to glue it all together, okay? Now for your glue, you can use E6000. You can use the clear grip contact adhesive from Gorilla. I just have a little bit left in this tube, so I want to try to go ahead and use that up so that I can throw this away and get it off my table. But what we're going to do is we are first going to put some blobs of this glue and then a few blobs of hot glue in alternating patterns. What does that do? Well, because this takes roughly 24 hours to really set up so that it won't fall apart. You're going to use this and then the hot glue is going to give it immediate hold so that it kind of holds it together so that it won't slide all apart so what we're doing now is i said i hope that there's enough in this little tube yeah there seems to be so i'm just taking this now you if you can help it try to not let your adhesive like this come into contact with your hot glue why Depending on the brand, depending on the brand, um, if this comes into contact with the hot glue, it can interfere with how it sets up, okay? It can. It can cause it to not set up real properly. So you want to try to give it a little bit of space so that um, it can have a little bit of space to set up and not be 100% in contact. Amber, hurry up. Your hot glue is... And now we're just going to stick these together like so and then i'm just going to set that off to the side and i'm going to use that same technique up here to glue the vase on top of it okay so that's really all that there is left to this is to just glue this here and then i'm just going to pour these in and then put in my flowers so i have to go let this set up put in my flowers and if you stick around after the video you'll see what it looks like. Okay, listen, I know y'all hate when I do this. I hate it when I do this. But I was putting this all together, and I know this is difficult to see, but I have the vase is glued, these are glued, and then I was putting in these little blue gems. Now, there's an awful lot of blue on these butterflies, and as I was putting these in, it just, I didn't like how overwhelming the blue was. I, I didn't like that, okay? Um, so I'm thinking I want to do something a little bit different. I have here a piece of cardstock, and I cut it to the height of the vase, okay? And now what I'm going to do is, can y'all see? Oh, I'm going to take the cardstock, and I'm just going to set it down inside the vase, okay? To give a, a background, to brighten up the vase so that you can see the butterfly stickers better. Let me slide that down in there. You spread it out a little bit. And I'm going to try to show you this without knocking everything around. But see how now they're really bright? So now I'm going to put the flowers in, okay? I just wanted to take a minute and explain why it looks different here than it is here in a minute, okay? I'll be right back. All right, y'all. This is a very tall craft and it is very difficult to get all in frame. But there it is. There it is. And I'm pretty happy with that white cardstock, um, how it really lets the butterflies shine through. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I hope you liked it too. So if you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.